What? What? <laughs> that was way, the world way, has way, way, way off. <laughs> it's Niamar Prestina. That's not what it sounds or like. Something like that. <laughs> well, welcome, Lego oh, fans, gosh. to another episode here on Bilbo Brico 9's Middle Earth Essentials playlist. Essentials? Yes. And of course, any person who calls himself a fan of Middle Earth needs to have a map of Middle Earth in some way, shape, or form. And this is my way, shape, or form. Yes. Unfortunately, it's not as huge as mine. Yes. But I'm, I must admit that it may look a little more... Detailed. Detailed. Nice. Just small. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is from the Noble Collection. How much does it cost? I have no idea. 30? I'm, I'm thinking it's probably 30, because that's what... That was it was a gift. So. Yeah, so that's probably more than because it's larger. Probably about 40, 45, 50. I'll, I'll try to look it up and put it in the description. But anyway, let's go and take it out. Well, you got it. There's um, tape. I'll get, I'll get the tape. And we can time how long this takes on my pocket watch. <laughs> We're done. Like, take it I'll be doing a review on this very soon. By myself, unfortunately. There's the very interesting packaging. Which I made sure to bring, because Bilbrico 9 loves everything. And here is the map. So... I couldn't find Hobbiton, though. The, it's just so small. There's the Shire. I just... It was so small, I Michelle couldn't Michelle Delving. Is that really how you say it? Michelle or Michael? I don't know. I couldn't tell. I think that's Hobbiton. No, no, it would be Michael. Because Michael that's how Delver. you pronounce things in... Or Mikkel? Yeah, it was either Michael or Mikkel. I think I might say Hobbiton right there, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I saw Angmar immediately. Angmar? Yeah. Where which king lives? But Do you know, is Morgoth lives. here? Morgoth is a person. No, no, Morgoth was... An entity, not a place. Some... Where was Morgoth? Here's Ariador. Could you give us a brief description of these places, Fanor? Ariador. <laughs> Ariador is basically... <laughs> Half of Middle Earth. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, it's basically um just the lower. Did you mind holding that sign? Hold the camera. It's oh, the this? west, okay. southwestern part right here, including the Shire. And a giant black rider. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and actually, Arnor is also a consists of Arnor. Which is split up into the different ones that you see here of Aragon and Endway, Endway, uh, etc. Yeah, I can't see it very well. And just uh, past the Misty Mountains, which kind of divides Middle Earth in half almost. You have Rohavanian and Rohan. Of course, we all know about Rohan. Rohan is part of Rohavanian. And there is the Tower of. Rohan. So if you're over here and you want to not have to go through the Misty Mountains, you'll have to go. Over here. Nope, you can go right up there. Oh, okay. Uh, and there's a giant eagle. Maybe it's quite here. The wind low. Possibly. So there's Rohan. We all know about Rohan. Where's Gondor? Oh, is Gondor? that the Gap of Rohan? That's the Gap of Rohan, isn't it? Where's Gondor? The Gap of Rohan takes us too close to eyes and God. Yeah, where's Gondor? This is a Middle Earth map for the Hobbit specifically, so it uh, shows the path. Oh, you're right. It does show the path. Oh, cool. I didn't even notice that. I didn't either. That the traveling company Yeah, takes. so there, it starts here, back in, of course. Goes p through the Trollshaws. Uh, right past Weathertop. Too bad it wasn't in the extended edition. Uh, here's the last homely house east of the sea. Misty Mountains, where they met the Great Goblin. <laughs> His great protuberance. But, oh, this is, okay. And then... Right now, it ends here at the Carrick. Oh, that's not. I'm sorry. There's the Carrick and Bayorn's house. Mm -hmm. Through Mirkwood, where they encounter some evil spiders. And some made up Mirkwood elves. <laughs> who are not in the book. Well, I guess just one of them was not. Well, actually, no. Legolas is not in there either. Yeah, Legolas is in It ends. Well, actually, next we go to Esgroth, Lake Town, City of Men. And then through the through ruins Dale. of Dale. And finally to Erebor, where there's a giant dragon looming over the sky. So, yes, Fanor is right, because if we look at my map over here, you can see... It's a more full map. Yes. There's Not Rohan, and Gondor is beneath Rohan, immediately below. Yeah. You guys can't see that the lens is capturing it. Separated by the White Mountains, mainly. Yes. And then, also, your map does not show Mordor. Or Haradwaith. 
or Haroon. You just, you guys but just love criticizing my map. Don't no. You? Oh no, it's no. a great map. Yeah. I actually would probably get that map and the larger one and a few other ones that focus on a specific point because then I could really just delve in deep on everything. So like, for this one, it really focuses on the path of the um, traveling, traveling, company. Company. Tra traveling company, and it focuses here and everything. Only thing I find so, odd is that because this is a Hobbit theme map, why is the Black Rider there? <laughs> Just to get a little bit of visual. Why not a troll or? It uh, might. It might be goblin just king. Like, the it might goblin. Be yeah, a, the great um, goblin. No, it might be a um, just a symbol of a rider, not necessarily a black rider. I think it's a black rider. Probably. But no, it's a white rider. No, it's a turquoise oh, rider. No, it's Gandalf the White then. <laughs> but anyway, it's a very nice looking map. Uh, you'll definitely want to hang it up in a prominent spot, like I did uh, my Thorns map and key, which will be, or I will be reading soon anyway. So make sure you pick this up. I'll try to find the exact price. I'm thinking it's between thirty and forty dollars. And I'm thinking that it's between forty and fifty dollars. Uh, what do you think it is? Zero and ten. <laughs> Whoa! That'd be nice. <laughs> pick up a few of them then. <laughs> a few? Yeah. For gifts? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And investment Why, purposes. Thank you. <laughs> so make sure you pick up this map of Middle Earth. Make sure you pick up all other kinds of things. From the Noble Collection and all that good stuff. Of Pop, course, if you, if you don't have either a ton of money or you don't buy anything else. True. And then also, um, we would like to review Feanor's replica of Bobo and Frodo's sword Sting, but unfortunately, his angry wife Agnes <laughs> is preventing us from showing it to you because she claims that every time he holds something sharp, quote, he goes mad, unquote. I, um, Her words are not Everybody who tried to fast enough because she's not. Everyone who has watched this channel and has seen T Falls play with Legos, Lego knows that I am a teenager just as are Bilbo. Do not listen to him. I told I you not, not to put that in. Anyway. I told you not to put that in, Bill Brigo 9. Well, thanks for tuning in. An argument is about to ensue. A storm is coming. So darkness is coming. In order for you not to see that, to all corners of the land. Goodbye.